all right guys how's it going welcome back to Earl's fishing adventures right but now i've got the intro out the way i i'm gonna stick you up on my head as you can see the clip on my helmet cap there because it is a very very windy and loud rough day uh because you're just not going to be able to hear anything today i'm going to give you a little bit of a show round today uh, show round now sorry and uh so then you'll see what i'm talking about
Look at that. Right guys, if you can hear me, all I did on that, that time was a change it to a, just a macro fillet. Just put a macro fillet on like I'm doing now. And I changed I because I was putting full mackerel, full mackerel, mackerel joys out. And I wasn't getting the, the baits were coming back chewed up, but they weren't, you know, there was no fish. <laughs> so I said to myself, I'll change to a bit of a smaller bait. And that bait was out six minutes, seven minutes, and I had a bite straight away. I'll show you the fish in a second. Just give it another bit back in the water as quickly as I can. Anchored up. Right, hopefully that rod will all hold there tight. Guys, I also want to mention I am down here with Robson and Jonathan. Probably they're like little ants on the camera for you at the moment, but but yeah, that's Robson there and then Jonathan's all, all the way down there. I'm just about to show you the fish, but I just wanted to show you something. Look, see how I've got a nice bend in that rod. The only way I knew I had that fish on was because I no longer had a bend in the rod like that. It broke free. That fish grabbed the bait and pulled it right out and got me loads of slack. That's how I knew I had a fish. And that's the only way you're going to be able to tell if you've got a fish or not when, in it when you've got these sort of conditions. This camera probably doesn't do it justice, but them waves are massive. Absolutely massive. Right, I'm going to quickly get you on the tripod and show you this fish. Right guys, just want to quickly mention before I show you, that, it spat that out, which is a soft velvet swimming crab. I don't know why it's orange, but it is a velvet. But, I need to keep an eye on that rod. If it comes, it's going to fall on top of me, which I don't want it to, really. <laughs> right. They are nice bubbles, maybe about five pound maybe, but nice dark bubbles, tell by your bubbles, it's got them big nasal, nasal flaps right there, look, see that, that's what tells you it's a bubbles, it's a big fatty as well, Ma female, so it's maybe got their uh, purses in there, she's really fat, I know she feels empty, she's maybe already dropped, but yeah, nice bubbles. Right guys, I've literally just showed you that with that, that first uh, bullos there that's in the rock pool beside me. So then I picked up the rod and noticed my line had been pushed all the way down the beach. And this is the reason why. Another another bullos, but this one's only a babby this. It's only a small bullos this one. And every one has been caught on the uh, circle panel. I haven't got a bait in the water now because every time I, I try and do something with the camera my rod starts going there we go. Oh. so there you go another bullus but very tiny one maybe two pound two and a half maybe but yeah, very tiny bullos. This one is another female. 
not as fat as the other one, like I say, very empty. So, like I say, I, I bet you they've come in here to drop uh, purses, to drop eggs. So, yeah. I'll put it in here with the other one. There, uh, just to show you quickly. Yeah. Uh, the rock pool with bullets in. The baby one, and a little bit bigger one. <laughs> See how the difference in colours? A lot darker and then a lot lighter. See when that was coming in I thought it was a dogfish. But I just want to clarify, it is definitely a bullus when I put the camera down because I'll end up falling in. I didn't show you I don't think. Yeah, there's the flaps. 100% bullus. <laughs> It's got a fat head as well for its size anyway. But yeah, I'm gonna oh, I'm gonna chill out because my forearm is on fire. <laughs> Go fighting with that tide and fighting with the fish, it's quite difficult. It burns in your forearm, but um yeah, I'm gonna chill out, get another bait on the rig, uh check my line because it did rub in it rub on the rocks a, few, a couple of times on the way in there, so I'm gonna check the line, cut off the damaged stuff, put it in my bag, retie. Probably get another rig out as well and throw that out. Right, let's chat and I'm gonna get you back on the hat, alright? Right, so rebaiting up. Just another macro fillet, that's it. Nothing special, that's all I'm putting on. hook and that's it that's all I'm gonna put out this is the smallest of the fillets I've put out so far so we'll see looks like Robson's in again Go on, Robson, lad. Oh, I think I might be as well. There, guys. There's number three. Bobby like. Whew. Yeah. It is a bullus, believe it or not. Just a bobby. Look, there's the other flaps. But yeah, it's just a bobby. Literally, baby. Uh, we'll put it in with them. Ugh. Come here. Oh, I had to end on a dogfish, didn't I? Right, guys. This is a dogfish, right? This is a bullos. Now I'm gonna get scratched and mad here, but I hope you can tell the difference. If you look on the nasal flaps, there. Look on the nasal flaps, they're much bigger. Right guys, that's the, that's the end of tonight's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I really enjoyed it. I had, what, three, do three bullos, one dogfish, and I lost three, but that doesn't matter. We've got plenty of fish, which was, a, which was good. 
Oh, I'm absolutely knackered, guys. <laughs> right, guys, don't, don't, also don't forget to go and check out Robson's channel, Sea Fishing in Cumbria. Worth, definitely worth, worth watching his perspective of tonight's fishing. Thanks very much for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time on Else Fishing Adventures. See you later.